Rod, I've been obsessed with the nature of consciousness my entire life, what it feels like inside to have these sensations. The most obvious thing that we have in the world is really the most puzzling. And so one of the ways one can approach it, both biologically and religiously and philosophically, is to ask the question with more and more sophistication and artificial intelligence, will there be a time when not just will artificial intelligence be smarter, however you want to define smartness, than human beings, but whether they will be conscious, whether they will have an internal experience. So my answer to that is really based on my belief system, as I think it is with everyone. I say that in principle, there's no reason we couldn't have a conscious machine made from silicon. Um, now a, that begs a lot of questions. Are we humans smart enough to build such a silicon machine? Mm -hmm. I, that's yet to be shown. We, we may not be smart enough. You know, I, I, I used to uh, uh, think about uh, an example that uh, one of the professors at MIT used, Patrick Winston, uh, when talking to uh, the first class in artificial intelligence. He said he, he used to have a, a raccoon uh, when he was a kid that was very clever with its hands, but it never occurred to him to ask whether that raccoon would be smart enough to build a copy of itself. <laughs> and so I think maybe you know the aliens up there are looking down at us yeah. at MIT yeah. and other places and saying, oh, look at those funny little humans. <laughs> they think they're smart enough to build replicas of themselves, yeah. but they'll never do it. <laughs> they're just not as smart as us <laughs> right, up here. Right. So we may not be smart enough to build. But you base this on, you say, my belief system, that I think it's uh, absolutely in principle possible. So what is your belief system that my, makes you believe it? My belief system is that the universe is mechanistic. There is no God, there is no life force. It's a bunch of little rules of some sort. I don't know what level, <laughs> right, the right level right, to describe right, those little right. rules is. And they work together and combine and out of that emerges the stars, the planets, and us. Now, I think in principle, that's what modern science tends to believe most of sure. the time. Sure. You know, when you when you take a course in in uh, biochemistry, and you're talking about how two molecules match together, it, it never says the two molecules get close and then the soul intervenes <laughs> and attaches them. Right. It's all in van der Waals forces. And right, right, right. So science goes along with the idea that everything is mechanistic, but so a lot of people a lot of people want to have something more. I say we don't need anything more. Okay, Th and that's fair enough. But even people who say that recognize that of all the issues in the world, consciousness has a unique character to it because it, there's this internal awareness. Now some people reject that and say that that internal awareness is, is an illusion of some kind. A lot of people say that. And that's, a, I think, a consistent position. But uh, h how do you view that, though? Do, do, do you see consciousness as something unique? and different from all the other mechanistic things that are going on? I don't think that consciousness is, is a different kind of thing. I think it's a complex thing, uh, but we can't agree, by the way. This is how mysterious it is to us. You know, we sort of accept, I accept that Robert is conscious, and I think you probably right. accept that Rod is conscious. Right. But when it comes to dolphins, well, there's a lot of question there, and, and certainly with our dogs, are they conscious yeah. at all? Do they have any consciousness? It's, it's hard for us to agree on that. When we build robots that have aspects or modules that we've, that we've been inspired from biological systems from mm. humans and put in some of those modules, sometimes the robots do things which for a brief minute or two, and sometimes with some of the uh, subjects we've had, many minutes, people interact with that robot as though it's a human, as mm -hmm. though it's mm -hmm. conscious, mm -hmm. and are quite happy to do so. So my take on that is with the, you know, some people say, well, those people are over-anthropomorphizing <laughs> the, the robots. I think we anthropomorphize each other in order to understand well, each we, other. Well, we certainly have to do that. We have to have what's called the theory of mind. I have to uh, understand how that you're thinking the way I think, and therefore we can, we can communicate. The question with robots is not whether they will act, 
like humans. I think everybody accepts that with some level of technology uh, 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 generated by pioneers like yourself, that at some point in the future, robots will be indistinguishable in their behavior from humans. And so if they talk about being consciousness, do we believe them? That's right. That's exactly right. And, and Because and they will. And they'll be mad at you if you think that they're not conscious. Now, the question is, are they conscious? And is there a, a, a way? my point is, it's it doesn't it's matter. the same way I believe that you're conscious. Would it be the same? Would it be the same? In principle, it could be, yes. It, it, well, you could, say, you could say now, if, a, if you know that so sitting next to me here was a robot, and it, it not necessarily looked like me, but acted in the same way that you couldn't tell if, if, it, if you didn't see that it was a person, that you would, in principle, have no problem saying that the level of consciousness in terms of you, your belief in that robot in me would be about, it would be the same. Your level of confidence as, would as be the same. As a thought experiment, as a thought experiment. say that. I, yeah. have, that I mean, happened, it may so be 10,000 years in the future. And I, I, I can't actually, it may feel hollow to me. Right, well, then that right. One, that one doesn't have enough. But, but that's yeah. consistent with your, with your principle uh, of, uh, of thinking. Yes. And so that would mean that that robot, are you saying, are you, are you saying that you can't distinguish the behavior, that the behaviors are the same, or are you really going to that deepest level and saying that I therefore believe that that robot has the same sort of inner sensation? Yes, and I see, I think the question may be malformed there. I implicit in your question is that there is something deep. And it, it, to me, it's just mechanism. Well, no, that, that's how it occurs. The, the feeling is, is, is something that I feel, ah. and I, by analogy, think that you feel. The question yes, is, that is robot will be, have the behavior, but will it have well, the what, inside? What, what, will be there something well, what inside? Is that, what is that feel? So there's an assumption there that feeling is something special. It's not, it's uh, not special, but you, I, you see it, you feel uh, it. Yes, I do. You know what and, it feels and, like and, to and, see and, this and, and, slightly striped suit. Right, you and, feel and I that. see that and I recognize that. Right. And, and I, think, I think many people... So you could say that and have no internal feeling at all. Okay. So I, yes, that's my point. I think many people would say, we can imagine a robot that can look at Robert and say that's a pinstripe suit. Yes. And they would say, yes, we can have that. Yes. But it won't feel that it's a pinstripe suit. Right. suit. There won't be an inner f sensation of that. There'd be a and lot of O's and ones and electrical circuits coming up to that and, conclusion. And inside, inside here right now, there's just a whole bunch of chemicals firing. Right, but that's and mechanistic. That, that's a, that's how it's happening. That's the mechanism. That's a function. We don't care how it happens. But you have the feeling. The question is, does that robot have that internal feeling? See, I think the, I think that's a category error. I, I I I. It's to me, it's all the same stuff. The the stuff is how it happens. The, the, the stuff, stuff is, is the mechanism. But. The, and the stuff, the stuff of saying that's a pinstripe suit is just the so stuff of the same sort of thing as having a feeling. There's no, there's, there's no intrinsic difference. So does that mean that you believe that our sense of consciousness is, is in effect an illusion? Yes, absolutely. Okay. We, okay. We, you know, when we, look at, when we look at some of the work on um, split brain patients, for instance, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where, we, where uh, people cut the corpus callosum, for various medical reasons, right. and then there are two Epilepsy. independent yeah. brains, and yeah. you can talk to the, the <laughs> right. left brain, right. Right. and you can ask questions about what the right, right. brain is doing. The right. left brain makes stuff up, right. Right. makes stuff up about what the right, right brain is doing right. with, with no hesitation. And I think we do that all the time. We make up stuff to explain our behavior because we don't have access to all the layers of what's going on. We think we have access, but I think if we're reflective, We've often, we, like, we can realize, you know, when we've been angry, we've been irrational. We, and we may have, you know, in the heat of the moment, an argument said, I said that because such <laughs> and such. And then later you think about, well, that didn't make any sense. I was making that stuff up. And I think we do that all the time. So we make up this consciousness stuff about ourselves. Well, we, we make up uh, uh, personal feelings, we make up ideas, but we don't make up the inner sensation that you feel. The, 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 the so-called qualia, the, the texture of what, of what you, you feel. Know? How do you know we don't well, make that up? We, we feel it. Whether we want we, it to be different, no, but I, I don't I'm, think it's different. But uh, Different from what? I think it's the, it's the same sort of thing. You're, you're looking at the external behavior. The external behavior may be the same. The question is the internal sense. The external behavior can be the same. I, so you're saying the internal behavior doesn't, doesn't even matter? Not too much. I think that we, 
fool ourselves in thinking about our specialness of everything about us, including our internal feelings. I think dogs have similar sorts of internal feelings. They maybe don't have language to talk about them, but they have similar sure, sorts of sure. internal feelings. Because evolutionarily, uh, you know, I think we evolved. How do we get here from there? It didn't suddenly magically happen. Mm -hmm. It came incrementally, mm -hmm. a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. When does the when does the the water boil? <laughs> you know, the, the stuff is happening. It doesn't happen instantly. It's all the same sort of stuff. To me. <laughs>